inside the octagon. What a fight. Great fight, brother. Great fight. You're the little Mexico Mario. You're the Mexico Mario. When he stepped in a few times, I threw some elbows as well. I tell you what, man, his face was open up and he's still just coming. He's still just coming at me. You've got to respect that. You've got to respect Nate and, and, and the style of fighting that he brings. Um, how can you not? I just honestly want to say thank you to my team, my family, everyone that's come up with me, because we were with a tight, tight circle. People since day one are here with me now. So anyway, I just want to thank everybody that's been with me and the Irish people that support me. I swear to God, I've done this for us. I've done it for us. Okay, well, good job. Come on, thank you, it's good job. I, I turned him into a Mexican tonight. He <laughs> fought like a Mexican. But I give him a hat off, fair play to him, he, he's a composed man. You cannot, you can give him nothing but respect. He took the shots early, and he took shots early. I cracked him with the left hand, and I saw him in a bit of panic, but he stayed very, very calm. That's just his years of experience. Oh, he's he's still there. He's he's still there. I didn't anticipate that. Three, three game changes in the, in the fight. That's what a true champion does. Much respect, you, 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 you came with it. You know what I mean? I gotta give respect to that. <laughs> Make no mistake, I am cocky in prediction. I am confident in preparation, but I am always humble in victory or defeat. He's a phenomenal champion. He was a phenomenal champion. He deserved, we deserved to go a little bit longer. I said it in the, in the octagon, you know, if you feel for that. You don't, that can happen. You know, you don't want to see, want to see it like that. It would have maybe a little bit stretched out, but the same formula would have happened if not a little bit later, but. Did you say to Max afterwards, did you say you're a lot tougher than I thought or good fight? I said, good fight, thank you for the exchanges. And he came to me and says, you're a nice guy. It's a, you're a showman, so, you know, which is probably, probably true. I'm not the worst guy in the world, even though, you know, I might be a little bit... I might talk shit a little bit sometimes, you know, but... Can you describe the emotions after a loss like that? You know, it stings, it stings real bad, but this is the fight business. I've been on the end of many defeats in my, in my life, and I've rose back, so... I will not shy away from it, and um, I will not make excuses for it. I will assess it, and then, uh, come back. I know it's still very fresh, but in hindsight, do you feel like you almost bit off more than you can chew here? I, um, I just misinterpreted his efficiency. He was very efficient, and he took he took shots well, and he played um, with his energy well. And whereas I didn't, um, I blew out. He did not. Uh, he almost felt I hurt him many times in the fight. Call Luke. I swear to God, I just got a picture with her. Get that. I'm gonna come up to you tomorrow. Dude, you, I, I swear to God. I'm gonna come up to you tomorrow. You are the f man. <laughs> They're like a cardboard cutout.
of me in a fighting stance and the Irish flag draped over the balcony. That is f***ing crazy. What's up? Holy s***, man. How are you, bro? I'm good, how are you? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. I'm blown away by this, man. I, I drove by a couple of times and I was like, what the f***? Yeah, I it's, it's been, seeing things at first. Like, no, it's been up since your uh, Max Holloway fight, man. I no up, way. Are you looking forward to the fight next week? Oh, yeah. Please. Yeah. You kidding me? Yeah. I got my shirt, my wardrobe in there. My, I got your shoes. <laughs> you see them right through there. With the Reeboks? Yeah, it says champ on the back. <laughs> I don't even have them. They don't even them ones. They are unbelievable. I'm man. telling honestly, you, man. Yeah. Honestly, man, that's unbelievable. I'm going to put on a show for yeah. you. Spe Thank you so much, yeah. Like Every Saturday before the fight, I put up my cardboard cutout, I put up the flag, I put up the banner. And the only thing I can say, and I hope Connor sees this, is that that feeling he had with Jose Aldo when he knocked him out and he became the champ, hands down, that's what I felt like tonight. Like, that's how amazing it was. And I really hope he sees that. And I. I mean, I think I saw it on my face, and there we go again. See, it's gone again, but that's what, uh, that's the best I can say, man. And I'm enamored right now, man. I'm shaking. I'm acting like such a little oh, baby, and I'm sorry. So much, I appreciate it, man. Honestly, it's an honor to meet you, but you so I appreciate much. the support of all the fans out here and all over the world. I never take it for granted. I, I use it as a motivation, so I am extremely uh, grateful to the fans. Thank you so much. I like you so much.